What's that sound? Here's a hint. These storm spotters got a little too close to another severe weather danger, hail. When it comes to severe thunderstorms, hail doesn't cause the most property damage. Straight line winds hold that distinction. And hail doesn't cause the most thunderstorm-related deaths. That title belongs to flash floods. Hailstones are still very dangerous, and you should take it seriously when they come knocking on your roof. Think of each hailstone as an ice cube, falling from the sky at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. Hail is formed when updrafts, the strong column of rising air in a thunderstorm, carries particles to the freezing cold air in the upper atmosphere. Ice accumulates slowly, and as long as the updraft can keep the hailstone in the sky, it will continue to grow. Eventually, the hail falls to earth and can cause some major damage. When I go to local schools and talk about weather, one of the students' favorite demonstrations is my hail size kit. Storm spotters and meteorologists use comparisons to judge the size of hailstones. We start with peas, we include every kind of coin, and go right on up to golf ball, tennis ball, baseball, and yes, even softball size hail. The biggest hailstone ever recorded in the U.S. fell in Nebraska in June 2003 and was seven inches across. In other words, think of a chunk of ice as big as this cantaloupe falling from the sky at 100 miles per hour. Needless to say, when a hail-producing thunderstorm approaches, you should stay indoors because anything left outside during a hailstorm, including cars and houses, will face the wrath of ice cubes falling from the sky.